Let's start off today's video with a question. If I show you Revit 2024, can you tell me which version of Dynamo is loaded on it? A little bit of a hint, you can look at the point release, but does that help any more than just looking at Revit in general? What if you look at the about page? Does that help even more? You are able to see which version if you look for the version guide that I have online. I'll link that below that's on my website. It looks like this and it tells you the version per version of Revit. That's kind of lousy because you have to navigate to it in order to find it. So in this video, we're going to show you a way to really find this out quickly. So let's check it out now. So what this is, is a tool that I've recently created called What the Din. And what it is, is a Revit plugin that allows you to know which version of Dynamo is loaded on your current version of Revit. It's open source, all those good things, and we'll look at where to download it and install it here in a moment. The way that it works is within the Revit program files location, Dynamo for Revit is technically an add-in. So if you didn't know that Dynamo is still an add-in for Revit, it technically still is, and you can remove it if you want your users to not use Dynamo. Uh, so there's that option if you'd like to still do that. But within that folder, under the Dynamo for Revit folder and the Revit folder within it, we have access to all the files that make Dynamo for Revit happen. Within that file is a DLL that loads whenever Revit loads. It's called Dynamo Revit DS. And what this used to be was a version selector. So in the past, we used to be able to install several Dynamo versions per Revit version and pick between them. That's what this used to do. Now it just loads Dynamo in the background when Revit loads. If you look at this file, it does have a version on it that reflects the current version on your Revit install. So in this case, I have Revit 2024.1. Uh, that comes with Dynamo 2.18. Revit 24, the initial release, came with Dynamo 2.17. So unless you just know that, that is very hard to know. Uh, so let's go ahead and close Revit, and we'll install this now as well. All right, and if you want to get the installer for this, if you don't want to build it from source on GitHub, I do have the installer available. The link is in the description below as well, but it is just a simple Revit plugin installer that's available for free. If you want to support the project, you can go ahead and type in whatever number in here you want, but you can type in zero and just get it for free as well. So once you download it, the installation process is really straightforward. We'll look at how that looks like now. We'll go ahead and run it. It takes you through all the steps, and this is available for Revit 2020 to Revit 2024. So we're going to install it on all of them, and we'll open our Revit back up. A few moments later. So what this tool does is once your Revit loads, it actually flags which version of Dynamo is loaded for you in the notification window on the upper right corner of Revit. So it tells you that you currently have Dynamo 2.18 loaded. You will notice that that's also clickable. So if I click on this text, we will see that it takes me to my packages folder. So one of the most important things that I've wanted this tool for for quite a while was to be able to manage my packages before I open Dynamo. Because as you may know, once you open Dynamo, it takes ownership of your packages. So if I wanted to come in and delete these before I run Dynamo, I can do that now because that's easily accessible. Let's go ahead and open the sample project and take a look at one more feature that this tool has available in it. All right, so in addition to doing that little flag notification bell on the top of Revit, if you go to your Manage tab where Dynamo is located, you will see that we've also renamed the button to reflect the major and minor release. Once again, in this case, Dynamo 2.18 is the version that we have loaded on this version of Revit. So we can kind of see that reflected right here as we hover as well. So another thing worth considering is if you want to see that pop up again to be able to get to your packages folder really fast, if you go to add-ins, external tools, you can just go ahead and run it once again and you will get that notification once again to click on to take you to your packages folder. So very quickly we can see which version it is and it's all there for you. As mentioned, it is open source on GitHub, so the installer location is linked below, but the GitHub location is also linked below as well. This isn't a whole tutorial on how to edit the code or build it or anything like that. That's for you to go investigate, but it is open source for you to be able to check out. Essentially, we have our source in here with all of our code, and it is available for Revit 2020 to 24. This is structured in a way that I structure most of my Revit plugins these days, so it is pretty consistent in that way. Uh, what it does is on the app loading is it essentially grabs the 
the button from the ribbon and it figures out which version it is as well. So there's a few utilities in here that do that. Uh, there's a way to check what all DLLs are loaded and that's how we're finding the version and we're assigning that. Uh, there are comments throughout, so I encourage you to check it out and be able to see what the code does. But if you're just someone who wants to install it, you can do that as well. So open source available on this link right here to actually download the tool. Once again, you can get it for free. Just type in zero and say, I want this. But once again, if you want to kind of support the tool, you can do that as well. So there are a few options there. Uh, if you could also on GitHub, make sure you star it. That'd be greatly appreciated because it shows it to more people and things like that. But this is a tool that I've wanted for a very long time. Managing Dynamo is something that becomes more and more difficult over time. And it was the result of having this Dynamo version master list as well. So on my website, I also maintain a list of all the versions for Revit, the Dynamo versions. Uh, but navigating to a website is not the best way to do this. Uh, so this tool just helps notify you which version you have loaded to remind you. Really quick way to do it. Pretty simple tool, but I hope that helps out. Tool I've wanted for a long time, so I thought it was worth making a video over. So go check it out. Uh, comment below if you have any other ideas for things to add to this tool. It is largely based off another tool I have called Fetch that I'll link below as well that syncs your Dynamo packages. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Check this uh, check the tool out. And yeah, other than that, we'll see you in the next video.